Welcome back to our channel guys. Now the biggest question we get asked every time a customer comes in the door is which mower is best suited to my needs. Now we sell many a brand and I've got the Alco range in front of me. So we're gonna go through each model and all the range and all the specifics and see which one might suit you best. Roll film. So we will start off with the 16 inch model first, the 42 centimeter, but I just want to briefly tell you about the different ranges that Alco have to offer. So they have a 16, an 18 and a 20 inch version in the range. Different engine types, so Lonsin, Briggs and & Stratton and Honda. Different ways of cutting the grass you've got mulch collect side discharge not all features are available on each mower and you've got different drive aspects so you've got push mowers and you've got variable speed and you've got single speed so we'll start off with the 42.1 pa which is a push 16 inch right so we'll start off with the 16 inch the 42 centimeter this is the 42.1 pa model so that is a push drive version this also comes self-propelled so if you want drive to be able to self-propel you along the garden you can add that onto the machine as well so what do you get? You get a Lonson engine, which is 125 cc's, which is an easy start or quick start engine. So there's no choke assembly, just hold the handle, pull the rope and it will start. It comes collection with a grass box on the back and it also comes mulch. So if you want to run around your garden and just clip up the clippings and recycle those back into the lawn, you can put the mulch plug in the back and you can do that. Obviously, this is the lightest machine in the range. Being push, you're going to want a fairly level lawn for it to work. If you've got sloping ground, then obviously the self-propel will be better for you. So the height range on this machine is anywhere from 25 mil up to 75. So all the Alco range are highly engineered in Germany and they're built in Austria. So you've got good European production behind these machines. First things first, you've obviously got a nice carry handle. So if you need to get it up and down slopes or even up and down gardens and different levels, this is the machine for you. Being that it's the smallest in the range, this mower is designed for about 800 square meters of garden. So not massive areas, but it's just ideal for those back gardens which you couldn't physically get a bigger machine into. The 16 inch model also comes with a handy 60 litre grass box catcher. So moving on from the 16 inch up to the 18 inch versions. Now you can see we've already got a different engine on this machine. Now all 18 inch models can either come with the Lonsin, the Alco engine, the Briggs & Stratton or the Honda variants. Now on this model, we've got the Briggs & Stratton. Another big thing you will see between the two models is the shape and design of the cutting decks. Now being that this is the entry level model for smaller gardens, it doesn't need to be a massive cutting deck. When you jump up to the 18 inch version, you have what they call max airflow technology. So this is where the cutting deck is a lot deeper. This means that the hole on the back end of the machine is larger so that if you're cutting a lot of wet damp grass you're not going to get that clogging like a normal machine will give you. So the other noticeable difference you'll see between the 18 and the 16 inch versions is this is now what they class a four-in-one mower. So you've got your grass collector, you've got rear discharge, you've got mulch and the fourth option is side discharge. So we just lift that up like so there's a side discharge flap that goes on the side and this means if you are cutting longer grass that you want to just chuck out the side of the mower then you can do this. So obviously slightly larger machine than the 16 inch this is now rated up to about 1400 square meters of garden area. You've got the same size grass box to 60 liters and you've still got the same height adjustment which will adjust all four wheels in one go. And all the 18 inch models now come self-propelled, so you haven't got a push version. This means it's easier to drive around your garden, especially if you've got a more challenging terrain. So don't you find it frustrating? You filled up your grass box, but you just filled it too much. You go to empty the box and you've got grass has fallen on the floor. You've got to scrape it up and chuck it into the heap. Well, Alco have come up with a design which will basically tell you when your grass box is full so you won't have any of those issues anymore. This little flap will blow open with the wind and that's the air volume coming through the chute. When it's full, it'll shut down flat and that's basically telling you there's no air getting to the back of the box. You'll be able to empty the box and not have any of those issues where the grass falls out. So there you go, thumbs up Halco, well done. Now we move on to the part of the video where we give our subscriber giveaway and our subscriber giveaway today is Paul Condy. So congratulations to you. I'm modeling one of these hats that will be in the post. Just send us some details and we'll get it on the way to you. Drop us an email or what have you. So how do you enter, do you ask? Well, all you do is subscribe to our YouTube channel and just basically add any comments into any of the videos you see and you're in a chance to win. Let's carry on with the rest of the spec of these mowers. So we're going to move from the 18 inch Alco, the 46.0 SPB over to the 521 VSH. Now this is Alco's biggest and most premium walk behind mower they have to offer. This comes with the GCVX 170 Honda engine and is a 20 inch version. 
So on all 20-inch Alco walk-behind mowers, they come with a 70-litre grass box, which is huge, and it's designed to cut up to about 1,800 metres squared worth of garden area. The other big thing you'll probably see on these machines is you've got the extra large wheels. So it does mean if your garden area is more demanding and it's slightly rougher, then you're not going to have little tiny small wheels falling in holes. So these track on the ground very, very well. The other thing with this model, because it is the VS model, variable speed, you can also to your drive speed which you're driving at so it is literally push up and down on that lever there and that will alter your drive speed so if you prefer to go really really fast put it up into full gear and you can trot behind the mower but like me if you like to take your time and enjoy mowing grass then bring it down into a slow speed and once again on the alco 20 inch versions these can either be fitted with the honda that you see here the briggs and stratton or the alco engine so we're just going to go back through the range quickly so you can make sure you know which machine is ideally suited for your needs. So starting with the 20 inch, this is designed for your larger, more demanding areas. You can either have the premium Honda engine, the Briggs & Stratton or the Alco. Comes with a four in one, some mulch, collect, rear discharge and side discharge. And there is variable speed as well as single speed options. Moving on to the 18 inch medium sized gardens, again, self-propelled. You can either have this variable speed or just single speed. Comes with a Honda, Briggs & Stratton or Alco engine. Again, four in one, side discharge, mulch, rear collect and rear discharge. And then you've got the smallest one in the range, the 16 inch. Now this either comes push or self-propelled with the Alco engine. And this is designed for smaller gardens or areas where you can't get a large machine to. You need something that's slightly lighter to get you to those areas. So remember guys, we've got the whole Alco range on our website available to buy and to be shipped within the UK. If you don't find that these machines are big enough for you, then we have got the Alco tractors to offer. If you click on the link below, you'll be able to view our video that we've compiled on these tractors.